as you all know by now, Beirut is considered one of the main fashion hub in the Middle East. And today I'm gonna meet Selim Sherfan to tell me more about his brand, Je Demain. Hi Selim. You launched a brand two years ago under the name of Jeux de Main. It's a French name uh, to play with your hands. I love the name. It reminds me of Jeux de Main, Jeux de... And <laughs> um, I wanted something that um, looks like me, something that I can relate to, something that could be as well some very versatile that I can adapt it to many things. And the fact that I was coming from a background that uh, was different than fashion was graphic design. So I thought that I'm gonna be this designer who's playing with his hands. And in this uh, journey that I took, it was fashion. So I'm like, maybe next year I'll be doing something else with Jodoma. So I wanted something that could adapt. I think the energy of my work is gonna be the same, which is this kind of happy, uh, colorful, uh, like uh, when you see here, like the colors, um, the patterns, the illustrations. The whole thing, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna still be the same, but I think we're gonna all be adapting to the new kind of uh, fashion because I think fashion needs to adapt more to the needs of humans and the whole universe. Honestly, like Beyonce thing was the kind of like a dream because I wasn't expecting it and f the fact that I just started my brand and I look at all the brands where they work for years. So when I launched this collection, my last collection in uh, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week during uh, last year in Tbilisi, I got an email from Zarina Akers, who's the stylist uh, for Beyonce, and she said that I'm really in love with your collection. Could you send me the lookbook? I sent her the lookbook, and then she wanted to gift one of my looks to Beyonce, and I just shipped it to her. So it was kind of like uh, super because it made me feel like I'm this designer in Beirut that I can reach these superstars abroad and really far from me just by doing what I do best, which is my work. I didn't have to work on my PR or like, I'm just trusting my work. Part of me is not really worried about what's gonna happen in life and everything because I'm very sure of what I have in the inside and I know that I can adapt to anything that will happen, any kind of situation. And I trust my work, like my work helped me through different uh, periods of my life where it was adapting to what I wanted to do and uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I trust, I learned how to trust myself more.